let us just move on to the next level, which is 4-4. Uh, four, four. Then we have a ghost house, and after the ghost house, we have another level, and then after that level, I believe it's the, uh, um, yeah, the castle, so. We are almost done with this world. Just three more levels and a castle, and then we're done. There will be plenty of secret exits, though, I'm pretty sure. And, oh geez, this might be the level I was thinking about earlier, I think. No, it's not, never mind. This is just an underwater level, I guess. And we have bloopers. They make their first appearance in this game, I think. I don't remember if I saw them earlier or not. We even have the blooper nanny. And we have to get the heck away from them because they are hurting me very badly right now. Oh jeez. Stupid bloopers, go away from me. At least you're not like you are in um, the Lost Levels where you appear out of water, too. I still never really got that, but... Whatever, they're bloopers. They can do whatever they want, apparently. Even if it means getting out of their natural habitat. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, nope. Let us continue, then. Usually in these levels, though, you don't get any star coins until after halfway, so... That's probably why we haven't... Oh, come on! Why was that pipe in the way? Stupid pipe. Is there something here? No, there's not. There's probably something in that yellow pipe, though. Let me check these first. And there is. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Watch out for this enemy. This enemy will try to eat you, I think, if you get close to him. But you do have a star man that you can use. Oh, whatever. I won't kill him. He doesn't deserve to be killed. For once, he wasn't trying to do anything to me. Okay, there is something up here. Those blue coins were kind of indicating that. And sure enough, we have this. Which I believe we just uh, get this by freezing you and then getting you like that. And that's the first star coin, so we haven't missed anything yet. Oh, shoot! Okay, jeez, that bubble jet, like, pushed me. Ah, oh, dang it, stop getting hit. There's stupid enemies everywhere. Leave me alone, bloopers. What did I ever do to you? Oh, come on. One of the things... Okay, oh, as I was trying to say before I got I brutally you. murdered by bloopers, is that the bloopers kind of have a weird offensive mechanism where they'll never try to run into you, but they'll try to fly around you and as close as they can to you. So you can kind of use that to your advantage in trying to avoid them, but you still have to be very careful because they'll still hit you pretty easily if you don't watch out. And, um... Yeah, I lost a few more lives, unfortunately, but we all have all the star coins, and I believe this pipe takes us to the end, so just gotta watch out for this blooper. If you get out of the way. Okay, there we What?! Okay, apparently bloopers don't stay encased in ice for very long, so keep that in mind, too. And here we are, into the level. And here we are, one up. So now, let us move on to the ghost house, which I believe has a secret exit, but most ghost houses do, so that's not a surprising thing or anything. But first, we have a matching game. So watch as I get nothing from this game, because I'm pretty sure that'll happen. Power-up panels. Okay. 
Okay, Starman, Ice Flower, Bowser Jr., Mini Mushroom. Okay, come on, give me a match, please. Dang it! Oh, stupid, stupid match game. You always try to find a way to screw me over. I don't like it one bit. Oh well, let's just move on. Okay, so here we have the ghost house. I hope I can remember where the secret exits are, uh, is, since there's only one. Actually, okay, the secret exit is actually pretty easy here. Believe it or not. As you can see, we're in this room with these uh, little wooden platforms that the longer you stand on them, they'll sink down. And that is actually where we'll find the secret exit. We gotta find the right place to look, though. But once we see a door, or there's actually a star point here, too. But, um, yeah, we'll find a door in one of these blocks, and that block is where the secret exit is, so... Let us just search for that. Maybe I already missed it. I don't think I did, though. Okay, no, I think it's right here. Or maybe it's not. Okay, no, it's the next one. I think. The next one that goes down. See, so yeah, I think it's this one. And it is. Okay, I was right. So let us go in here and find some awesomeness. Oh, shoot, I almost fell down. Okay. Oh, son of a... I hate that the objects in these ghost houses do that sometimes. Sometimes the objects, like those candlesticks, will just randomly float in the air and try to kill you. Which is not a very comforting thought to be killed by a candlestick. I think it's kind of an ode to uh, Super Mario 64, where... In the uh, ghost level, Big Boo's haunt, like, some of the objects would randomly just come out and try to kill you. Like, um, the bookends, the library books, and, uh, I believe the chairs also kind of came to life and tried to destroy you as well. I know way too much about Mario, a lot more than I should. It's a curse, though, because I love Mario games so much. Okay, here we have a Super Mario World trampoline. You don't see these objects very much, though. And usually you only get them so you can get, like, a secret exit or something, or just a normal exit. They're not that common, but we found the secret exit. That was pretty easy. And now we will find the normal exits. After I get the Starman, though. And why are there two Starman houses, like, really close to each other? That doesn't make much sense. I guess they really wanted to give us a Starman or something. I love how Toad says it's a rare item, even though it's a Starman. Which, they aren't really that rare. When I first saw that, I thought it was going to be something like, you know, like a P-Wing. Well, not really a P-Wing, but, you know, kind of like those Super Mario Bros. 3 items that, you know, kind of, uh, gave you certain advantages on the map. Like the, um, music box, the level skipping, Judgem's Cloud, and stuff like that. But the game did not decide to do that. Okay, we need a P-Switch, but I believe the P-Switch is in here. Or maybe not. Okay, where is that P-Switch? Oh, is it up here? Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, my bad. We'll play it the game's way. Okay, there it is. There we go. That's also kind of an ode to uh, 
Well, I think it kind of did the same thing in Super Mario Bros. 3 as well, but it was more prominent in Mario World. Where you had to remove a bunch of brick blocks to get inside of a door for the P-Switch. Okay, we have all the star coins now. Now all I have to do is just get to the end of the level. Which is right here, so... Hooray for that. And I'll just get the exit normally, I'm not going to worry about getting a high point. Okay, so next we have five, or no, four five, I think. I believe that's what level this is. Yes, it is, and I'll get a super mushroom just because. Um, I believe this is the level with the giant jumping fish that will try to eat you. And yes, I believe I'm correct, or wait, maybe not. No, this is the Yoshi level. Hmm, maybe there isn't a giant fish that tries to eat you. I know there is in like some levels, but not in this world apparently. Anyway though, we're gonna wanna keep this yet yeah, we're gonna have to keep the Lakitu clouds if we wanna find all the star coins because like the other Lakitu levels, I think they tried to hide them like um in the air. Or, yeah. They tried to hide some of those star coins in the air, unfortunately. Like right here. But overall though, this is a pretty short level, if I remember correctly. I wish these Lakitus would leave us alone. And yeah, I know that one Lakitu was trying to help me, but... I don't really care about coins, I care more about getting the star coins and stuff. Okay, wait, do I have to... Actually, let me see if I can get this without... Ah, uh, not quite. Oh wait, no I can, never mind. I will, however, grab these apples while I'm in here. And do I want a nice flower? No, probably not, because I'm going to the castle level next, so I'll ignore that. And I believe the exit's just up here. As I said before, this level is not very long. Okay. Woo! Let's move on to the castle. Bye, Yoshi. It's kind of cute how Yoshi waves at you when you leave. You know, it would be kind of cool if you could take Yoshi on the other levels, but I guess he could make some levels pretty easy. Maybe. I don't know. Here's a rare item. It's not rare. It's a Starman. Stop saying that. I've already made this clear, Toad. Okay. So yeah, let's uh, finish up this castle and then finish up World 4. This world's probably not even going to take me an hour to finish. Which I guess is a good thing, but... Whatever. Okay, and uh, this castle, the theme is these giant poking devices. Another Super Mario World mechanic. Sorry if I'm getting annoying by pointing all this stuff out, but, you know, I think it's cool. Okay. Can I get that somehow? I have to be on the other side. And I think I can be on the other side if I... Okay, yeah. This is kind of a weird star coin, because you have to do something you wouldn't expect to do. Yeah, when you um, switch the sides on this gate right here, 
I think you switch the sides of all future gates, so or all all gates in general. So that is how you get that one star coin. It's kind of weird because they don't exactly explain that, but that is another thing from Super Mario World. So yeah, you see now I'm in front of all the gates, or no, I'm not. But yeah, I am. I'm in front of all the gates right now. Turn to the other side. Now I'm behind all the gates, and that's how you. That's pretty much the science behind that star coin. And I believe we're already halfway done with this castle. I think. Okay, ice flower. Dang it! Why did I do that? That was very stupid of me to do. I didn't want a one-up either. Yeah, whatever, I'll take it. Um, I'll go ahead and throw you. That was probably not a wise idea because there could be a star coin that I need that for, but I don't think there is. I think the star coin's right here. No, it's not. Never mind. Oh, ball and chain. Guess what Mario game that's from. And I'm not going to get all the red coins in time. Oh well. Okay, let's wait for this thing to poke before I move. Uh, and if I remember correctly, the boss of this world is actually, or the boss of this castle, is actually pretty difficult. I mean, it is Windy Koopa, who we've already fought, so it's not like it's a new boss or anything, but... Her power-up is very annoying, if I remember correctly. And look, we have the fish bones from uh, Super Mario World as well. Although they work a little bit differently in this game. They kind of charge at you. But they can easily be avoided, so it's not like it's a major challenge or anything. Kind of wish I had like a fire flower or something. Or some coins. Some coins would be very nice. I'm sure we'll get a power up in the next room though. What the? Okay, for some reason that poking thing actually hesitated right there. Don't know if anyone else saw that. Oh, I know, it did it there too. down there. And I remember just how we're supposed to get it to. Oh my god, big room filled with fish bones. How are we ever going to survive? Oh, we'll just have to kill them one by one. I think there's enough room for me to get this now. Indeed there is, and now we can fight Wendy, and hopefully not lose to her. Because that is something I'm actually worried about right now. Because it's possible. I can lose very badly. I'll try my best not to, though. Wendy! Don't do it! Whatever you're planning to do! Okay, so the theme of this boss battle is water. You're probably wondering how we're supposed to do damage to Wendy. Well, at some point the water will lower. And that is pretty much your cue to attack her when the water level is low. If you have Fire Flower, 
if you have a fire flower, this boss is very easy. So I'm actually kind of glad I held on to that. And there we go. Wendy has been defeated. And that about does it for World 4. Or... Does it? That's a little bit different. What's going on? Oh my god, there's another level for World 4. And it's an airship level. Heck yeah.